Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam and today's video is going to be all the books that made me cry. So, I'm a big crier. Um, I cry for everything. Um, I cry in movies and TV shows and books. I get attached to characters really quickly so I tend to cry when something bad happens to them. That could be a bad thing or a good thing. I'll let you decide. But yeah, I'm a big crier and I'm not afraid to cry. I have 10 books here that um, make me cry. So if you want to be emotional or cry reading a book, um, you should read those. The first one is one of my favorite books of all time and that is Monster Cause by Patrick Nass. This book, <laughs> it's also a movie now, so if you did watch the movie and cried, you're gonna cry in the book too. Um, this is about a grief for following a young boy who has to deal with the fact that his mother is sick and dying. And it's heartbreaking, really. I cry every time. Whether I read it through audiobook or physically, I will cry. Um, every post-it here that is blue is where I cried. So... And it's short so yeah so i cried a lot but it's a book that i just love so much this is such a hard book to read but it's so beautiful and it's so beautifully written the story is just incredible so this is my first next is a book that i don't have i lent it to one of my good friends and that is the perks of being a wallflower by steven chabosky that book <laughs> that book um i don't want to spoil why I cried but if you have read the book or if you if you have seen the movie because the movie is a really good adaptation to the book you know where I cried okay you you know it's a coming of age story we're following Charlie is writing letters to a friend we don't know who this friend is we're following him through high school and um, all the relationships he developed with people ah, I cried I cried towards the end um, when you realize something it's heartbreaking really so that book made me cry the movie too Next is another book to movie adaptation. They're not all book to movie adaptation, I swear, but that is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Um, and this one, this is a World War II historical fiction, and we're following a young German girl that goes to a new family to be taken care of. It's it's gut wrenching World War II and what is going on in Germany and in Poland and it's just yeah it's a really hard book to read a hard book also a hard movie to watch too but it's so necessary and it's so beautiful and I don't have my copy either I lend it to one of my good friends but yeah this is um this is a book that made me cry and I really want to reread it this year and yeah I'll see if it's still gonna make me cry I think I think it will but we'll see next is a book that I do not only copy up but I really want it have one and that is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkin reads um i read that book in 2020 and i cried but not just like a, t a lonely tear or some lonely tears no 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 it was bawling i was bawling my eyes out okay i was crying like ugly crying okay if you have read the book you know what i mean and you know where I cried okay it's towards the end and ugh, I, that was not expected from me and I was just it pierced my heart through and through that book was beautifully written the characters are flawed but so beautiful and so you just want to love them and then this happened this revelation and you're like what yes so I cried you probably cried too right next is miss born by brendan sanderson i cried when a certain characters die if you ever did you know who i'm talking about i was not expecting that it killed me i cried like i was so mad i was so frustrated i threw my book across the room yeah i like i said i get attached to characters like really quickly so if one character that I really love get get kills off or 
something bad happens to them i will cry and that is what happened another book that is like miss born that i threw the book away across the room because one character that i really love something bad happens to them like really bad and that is morning star by pris brown spoiler i read it in february and i finished it in february and yeah towards the end you know the last 40 pages i would say i cried i threw my book away i was mad i was pissed i was frustrated i I, I, I angry cried and I cried because I was sad. Mixed feelings inside of me was exhausting. <laughs> but yeah, I cried. Those characters in the Red Rising Saga series are so great. They're like exceptional characters. Like they're, they're flawed and they're, they know that they're flawed and they're not perfect. And you love them just more because of that. <laughs> yes i cried next is two books by the same author so the first one is between shades of gray and the second one is salt to the sea by ruta sepetis i don't own a copy of between shades of gray but i do own a copy of salt to the sea both of those i listen to the audiobooks and the audiobooks are so immersive and you know they're set in world war ii um in lithuania and this is about a shipwreck the other one is about like a concentric concentration 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 camp um set in siberia and the despair that these characters are going through and just the like they lost all hope and they're just trying to survive is just gut-wrenching and when something bad happens to them because there's a lot of bad things that happens to them i just can't help myself to just cry especially that you know when you realize that even though they're they are fiction books they're inspired by real life events and those kind of things really happen in real life so, you know the shipwreck of the um willem gustav really happened and it's heartbreaking it's it just it's it's killing me so those books killed me inside next is room by emma donahue this book is told in the perspective of a four or five year old so we're in his head and we're following him he's living in a room just one room with his mother and his mother was kidnapped when she was younger and you know the kid is the result of a rape and so you know trigger warnings but um being in the head of jack the five-year-old i think he is it is it's it's really weird um you know because he is happy okay he is happy in this room he he loves it he loves his mother he just you know he, he never knew anything else but his mother did and her despair and just her desire to just give more to his son is really you can feel it in this book and then, there was a part that i cried a lot and if you have read it you know where <laughs> um again this is another movie adaptation so um if you love the book or if you love the movie watch or read versa versa um this is really great i will recommend the audiobook just because some words are really written like a child like really young child i think the audiobook is just easier to go through um but yeah i kill me another book that kill me and lastly it's the way i used to be by ember smith and um, this is a contemporary book we're following a young freshman girl in high school who this is not a spoiler um, she gets raped in her Christmas vacation in freshman year and because of that she has trauma and, and we're following her basically trying to cope with that in her own way. Maybe it's not the right way to do it but that's her decision and that's how she's coping. Towards the end when she confesses of what happens to her to another character I cried my eyes out. I cried so bad it was crazy um 
I listened to the audiobook for that one and I remember I was in my car. I was I just arrived home and I just couldn't I couldn't get out of the car and stop listening to the audiobook. I had to finish that part because I was so into the story and I and I was crying. I was just like really immersed in it. So I did and I cried in my car <laughs> while listening to the audiobook of this book and again trigger warnings for rape and sexual assault and all of that. So and depression, self harm. Yeah, there's a lot. But um if you're not triggered by any of those things, read it. It's a it's read it so this is it guys this is a top 10 of the books that made me cry and i really really do enjoy so they are a recommendation if you want to cry if you want to get emotional um i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one bye